this new 2023 Mazda MX-5 Miata and for this video I'm going to take this Mazda Miata MX-5 for a startup and a full in-depth tour review showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior so what are you waiting for then sit back relax and enjoy all this review A big special thanks to Mazda Iloilo for allowing me to feature their brand new units. For more information, see the description box below. So, here's the key fob. Let's go ahead and get started. A smart keyless entry system is standard for the legendary Mazda MX-5 in all variants. Just to make sure that the key fob is in yourself and utilize the black button which are found in both front door handles in order to lock and unlock the vehicle. Since all doors of the MX-5 are obviously frameless, the windows will dip down a little bit to clear the door frame as in, suave talaga. To start the MX-5 Miata, make sure that the key fob is inside the vehicle. Put your foot on the clutch and hit this engine start stop button to fire up the engine. The steering operation of the MX-5 is an electric power assist system with a rack and pinion type controlled via a 3-spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2 and aluminum accents are found in all 3 spokes where your mounted controls are designated to the left. Out of 2 transmissions that are offered for the MX-5 in the Philippines under a 2.0 naturally aspirated gasoline engine is a 6-speed manual transmission which a lot of enthusiasts are dive into that, particularly when they go on throttle. Wow. Now, to put the car into reverse for the manual tranny, just push the shifter down, turn it to the left, and up. Our rear parking sensors will be activated once the car is in the reverse gear. Thus, these are the standard features for the MX-5 soft top. In order to put the soft top roof of the MX-5 down, first, you need to locate the toggle right in the middle on top, then push it to release the latch. Next, there are handles on either sides in order to lower down or raise up the soft top of this certain sports car. After lowering down the roof, just simply push it down to fully lower down the roof to lock it in place. Before you put the roof down, make sure all the windows of the car are rolled down. All variants of the MX-5 in the Philippines is only available with one engine choice and that is the 2.0 liter dual over cam 16 valves and a naturally aspirated inline 4 cylinder gasoline engine with electronic controlled fuel injection and Skyactiv G technology by Mazda. It produces 181 horsepower at 7000 RPM 
and 205 Nm of torque at 4000 RPM. Fuel tank size is 45 liters to put a 95 RON of gasoline fuel, whether it is unleaded or premium having a standard emission of Euro 4. The acceleration rate of this so-called Miata from 0 to 100 km per hour is 6.5 seconds and achieving a top speed of 219 km per hour. Compression ratio is at 13 to 1 and its transmission, a manual or an automatic having both 6-speed units, is an option for this vehicle. Rear wheel drive is a drivetrain for this sports car. With a range of 660 km, the fuel consumption of the MX-5 is 6.8 liters per 100 km or 14.7 km per liter combined. Showing this number figures, the MX-5 is not too bad for the road trip particularly when you go on throttle on the freeway and driving on the wide mountain roads with a speed. Not to mention, be responsible for your driving. Meet the legendary MX-5, known as the Miata. It is Mazda's ultimate sports car that has been in the industry for more than 30 years and it became the legend of the JDM vehicles in the 90s. These are in line with other legends like the Nissan Z, the Toyota GR86, and the Honda Civic Type R. Keep in mind that the Ford Mustang is also a legend too because it was first introduced in the early 60s and it became the grandpa of all legends of the sports car industry. However, it is not JDM. Well, going back, the MX-5 has produced four generations so far within the given time. And what we have here is the latest fourth generation MX-5 convertible with a soft top configuration. And this is a perfect high performance legendary sports car, which fits into a summer drive on the mountain roads matched with an awesome six speed manual transmission. Wala nang patumpik tumpik pa at simula natin ang feature. Can't wait to share with you guys. All latest MX-5s in the Philippines doesn't offer with a coupe with a fixed roof, but it has an option whether you go for a soft top or a hard top. Today, let us focus on the soft top version of the MX-5 and see what can we get from the money to the exterior. Now, the body silhouette of the MX-5 is totally an iconic from the first generation and it is sort of like a renaissance which Mazda did to their vehicles to make it as an historical heritage. The styling cues of the car overall is totally sleek and smooth, which the car shows its true beauty to its appearance matched with its size unlike any other sports cars out there. From there, this car is easy to drive even though this is considered as a high performance vehicle. This defines as a true JDM quality of a sports car. Up front, it gets an automatic adaptive LED headlights matched with an LED DRLs or daytime running lights. And looking at the front face, all I can say, it is beautifully designed and historical. Nevertheless, this is how Mazda worked their vehicles with full of confidence and inspiration. Rain sensing wipers are also standard for this car. On the sides, you get body color door handles and black colored side mirrors that are only available with power adjusting. Looking at the back, the design is beautifully clean and well organized which shows the beautifully designed bulb type taillights. And the PSD resistance for this car are the dual exhaust pipes, giving this car a much hype through its rumbling sound, telling that this is a high performance. Which by the way, if you want to change your exhaust step, well it's your choice because you want a we want to upgrade the nice rumbling sound of the 2.0 engine but think about the warranty because it offers you a 5 year warranty that covers to that car so think again anyway on the inside you see the bands of premium and basic which signifies to be minimalistic showing that this is focused on a driving experience still you get some advanced technological features but you get a nice comfort that you deserve thanks to its nicely padded fabric material in terms of space, however, the MX-5 is probably not the best car at all, which the space itself is a bit uncompromising, especially for tall persons out there. In my case, I think the space is definitely on an average size as a 5'9 tall person. Since this is a sports car, we talk about performance. Many people are looking for a sports two-door convertible having a high-performance engine. Thankfully, Mazda offers a 2.0-liter gas engine with a Skyactiv technology that delivers you 
powerful performance in terms of speed and sound even though this is a naturally aspirated engine. With that, this defines as a true JDM number one matched with a six-speed manual transmission. All I can say, the Mazda MX-5 is definitely one of the best of its class when it comes to design, quality, technology, and performance. At 2,050,000 Philippine pesos, that would be considered as a good deal for many. 17-inch black aluminum alley rims are the standard shoes of the MX-5 soft top which adds some seductiveness to that car. These rims are wrapped in Bridgestone Potenza tires that measures 205-45R17. These brakes can be found in all four corners where the front ones are ventilated while the rear ones are solid. As for the suspension, the front ones is equipped with a double wishbones with Bilstein dampers whereas the rear it gets multi-links. This car gets a limited zip differential and a strut bar. Speaker, mirror controls, window locks, center locking, window controls. A button to turn off or on your traction control and this car is featured with an i-stop system which is essentially as a auto start stop feature if this is if this uh sorry if this uh i-stop system uh will activate uh, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at the stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam to save an extra bit of fuel depending what the car is running on still it is running gasoline so the gasoline engine will turn off uh, if you arrive at the stop simple as abc Point release lever and the driver's seat of this uh, Mazda MX-5 Miata gets a fully manual adjustments seat back height adjuster and down there is your seat sliding position You have the same set of adjustments as found on driver's side, however, it loses out on a height adjuster. To pull the roof back up, right behind is a lever to release the latch, then pull the roof up forward and once the roof is up, just lock it in place using the lever as you release the roof from the windshield. After which, close the window up. All right. So let's start it up. With the door closed. The MX-5 gets a Mazda Connect head unit with 7-inch LCD screen display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and other media connectivity options, and the sound system is provided with 6 speakers. The MX-5 is featured with a Mazda's command control knob, which the knob controls up and down, left and right, scroll to the left and right, and click it down to enter. Just ahead of the control knob are the three sets of buttons such as the audio, home, and navigation. Behind of the control knob, there is a go back button to the left, in the middle is a volume power knob, and to the right is a favorite button. surprisingly the stock sound system of the uh, Mazda Miata works absolutely fantastic it's 
very good sound when you're going on a road trip or something like that it makes the it makes the car more fun to drive even when your roof is uh, when your roof is on behind a couple of storages I do believe this lot right here is going to be the placement for a cup holder I'm not quite sure more storage another storage right here this is your SD card slot two USB ports one is for your regular charging and one is for your connection to your infotainment auxiliary port basic aircon controls temperature fan speed and different modes hit this button for your rear defrost hit this button for your circulation and hit, hit this button right here for your uh, air conditioning a very unique air vents in the middle hazard switch so this is your infotainment system of this Mazda MX-5 Miata and you can control the infotainment system in two ways the first way is via the command control knob and the second way is the touch screen currently you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming with your current song title information artist album album art song duration list of uh, of your device seek track your plain pause this is your sound system uh, it contains your bass treble bands fade ALC and all that hit this button right here to go to your different uh, media sources So this is your home menu. Uh, let's go first to the communication. For your communications, you got your favorites, contacts, call history. Set, go to your settings. The setting co contains your Bluetooth, incoming calls, and all kinds of stuff. Next is applications. This is where you can read your fuel economy monitor, vehicle status, status monitor, and this car is featured with an Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Next is your navigation. However, it doesn't. Uh, the SD card uh, has not uh, is not available, so it could leave like that. It contains to your latitude, longitude, and elevation. Lastly, go to your settings. On your settings, here's your display. Safety. Sound na talakay natin. Clock. Vehicle. That you can configure your door lock, turn, turn and the lighting system. Devices via the Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then Torque Management. System that contains your tooltips, uh, language, temperature, and all kinds of stuff. Well, on Jolly Note, that's pretty much it in this infotainment system of the Mazda Miata. Man, I can't wait to drive this car and see how this car performs. And I believe that this car is fun car is a fun car to drive. Press this button to go to your multi-information display. And it doubles up as your scrolling knob to your interior brightness adjuster 
I mean, interior brightness. Uh, yeah. Light indicator controls. Phone controls, voice recognition system, seek track, info that go to your multi information display. Ayon. On hook and off hook buttons for a Bluetooth telephone menu. On the right side is your wiper controls. Ayun. Central locking. Since this is a soft top, grip handles on both driver and front passenger is unavailable. Driver side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Cabin light. And a manual dimming rear view mirror. The same goes from the driver's side. Front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror. This Mazda, Mi Mazda Miata doesn't have a glove box but you have a little cubby right here all right so that is it for our startup and before I'm going to turn off the engine I forgot to mention that the steering wheel on this car gets a manual tilt and telescopic you adjust it using this lever right here Alright, let's turn off this vehicle. And continue with the rest of our review. Boot space of the MX-5 measures 130 liters which you can put your full-size luggage and other stuff that are fit in there or bahala na kayo. Fall on the boot are your toolkit and an illuminating light. Four airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, dynamic stability control, keyless entry system, rear parking sensors, and seatbelt warning light are all the standard safety features of the Mazda MX-5 soft top. The only features that are available for the eye active sense of the Mazda MX-5 in all variants such as Smart City Brake Support and Lane Departure Warning. Furthermore, other features that are found in this car such as Eye Stop Engine Idling Stop System, Eye E-Loop Regenerative Braking System, and Kinematic Posture Control. Thank you for tuning in to the startup and a full in-depth tour review of this 2023 Mazda MX-5 or should I say Miata. I hope you like this video and if you do, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms.